everybody. My name is Patience and welcome to Mumcott Ranch and Homestead. As you can see today we are actually out in our pig pasture. Here's Oswald here and today what we are doing is I am just picking a five gallon, I believe this is five gallon, bucket of tomatoes. So we have had pigs in this pasture for a while. Um, mainly the reason for all these tomatoes is because in the fall last year we had pigs out here and with the abundance of tomatoes and squash and such um, we fed that to the pigs so the seeds ended up um, coming up this year and making tomato plants so Oswald um, now that the tomatoes are starting to turn a little bit he is um, taking advantage of the delicious fruits so what I'm doing out here is I'm coming through and just picking green tomatoes that are out here. Um, look at the size of this one, a little dirty, but, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a bunch of these because I do want to use them and eat them and share them with our friends and family. But Oswald is wanting to have some of his own too. So before he just comes in and eats all these tomatoes, I wanna go ahead and pick these. We're gonna put them in brown paper bags to get them to turn, oh, here he comes to um, turn red and able to eat. You can obviously eat green tomatoes, like fried green tomatoes and such. Um, oh gosh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, those are my tomatoes. Those are not your tomatoes, those are my tomatoes. Nope, leave them alone. You want a tomato? No, you don't even like them. All right, off you go. Go eat your dinner. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, we're trying to get uh, what tomatoes we can and obviously use them. Um, probably within another week or so I'll come back out and get some more. Um, but right now before he just completely demolishes the plants, we're getting in here and getting what we can. Here's a bunch of our aromas. See a bunch of our cherry tomatoes here. Maybe we'll leave these for a little bit longer and see how they do, but a ton of little, oh, look at these little baby ones. gotten a decent amount so far okay so that wasn't too bad of a harvest we did get an acorn squash and a decent size amount of tomatoes um, there is probably a couple in here like this one this one's really good to eat this one's all ripe this one I think was a uh, I forgot what it was called but it's like a purple and red striped cherry tomato. Mm. <laughs> Juicy. That's really good actually. Mm. That's really good. Okay. So as I mentioned, we're gonna take these tomatoes inside. We do have a brown paper bag that we're gonna put these all into and just leave them on the counter and let them ripe. Usually within like 
probably three or four days, the majority of them are, are good enough to you. So I'm excited for that. And I'll probably come out here maybe once a week from now going forward and just harvest some more tomatoes as they get a little bit more um, green and mature. So one other thing I wanted to show you is these pumpkins that also are in the pig pen. They kind of vine up and over. As you can see, vine up and over. And we have a couple big pumpkins. And I was wondering what to do with them because as you see, this one is massive. And the vine is doing really good holding it, but I'm afraid if it gets any bigger, it's gonna end up snapping. So I've been trying to wrap my brain around what we can do to support the uh, support the pumpkin. So I have an idea and I hope it will work. Let's go. Holy cannoli, that was a chore. You guys, this is like the smartest, funniest thing I've ever done, but it's, it works, right? So this, um, it's a harness. So we, um, got this off of Amazon and it's used for dogs that you can put them like in a harness to lift them up a little bit so you can clip their nails. So we don't use it for our dogs. We were actually trying to use it for our goats and I just did not like the way that it fit our goats. Um, they look super uncomfortable. Um, it just didn't seem safe to me. I didn't like it. So, um... I just held on to it and now we have it for a purpose. Look, it's sitting in there nice. So now as it grows, it won't uh, put too much pressure on the vine. It can kind of get just sit there. Great idea, right? <laughs> it's the best. My husband's gonna be super impressed, I think. Thank you for the eggs, girls. <laughs> hey, boys. Hi. Boys enjoying some grass. Hi. All 
All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me and getting those tomatoes picked. I do got to get them inside in the brown paper bag. Um, as you can see, we have a ton of tomatoes here out in the garden that still haven't turned yet. We Temperatures have still been in the 70s, but I believe this weekend, going into next week, it's going to be in the 80s for a few days. So I really hope that it helps give these tomatoes that finishing touch that they need. All right, guys, have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.